Hello people, I'm Vito, and welcome back to some more Metroid Prime 3 Corruption with Robberlink. That is I. So where we left off, we were exploring the rest of Norian. This place seemed to be covered with Phazon for some reason. Troopers, you, uh, you do a better job at your job. <laughs> All right. Multi-lock blast shield. A simultaneous blast to all targets is required to disengage locks. Well, you can do that. Multiple simultaneous devastating missile locks. So is that from something? It's from a Dawn of War game. Because there's a commander who makes a speech that is just absolutely ridiculous. <laughs> Security gate is locked and cannot be damaged by weapons. Unable to access this area. Well, screw us then. Hmm. Well, I guess we came all this way for nothing. Oh, look at that. A morph ball tunnel. Oh. I, want, I wonder where this will lead. Hmm. Come on. Open up. No, it's a dead end. <sighs> oh. Jeez. Rundus, I thought you said you took care of this place at the time. Phazon growth exteriors appear to be invulnerable to all weapon systems. Like, wait, we're still inside. Don't lock us. Out. In. I mean. It's like, oh, sure. Now you activate containment protocols. Yeah, after you let all the stuff out. Oh, it's one of you guys. Metroid Hatcher. Yeah, for some reason you're like ridiculously hard to hit sometimes. Did we have the Nova Beam when we fought the first one? No. Okay. We had the Plasma Beam last time. Right. So that should make this a tiny bit easier, I think. Oh, wait. Going. All right, maybe this will be easier. Yep, seems easier. I know they say spin to win, but I don't think spinning without your tentacles is going to do much. <laughs> Speaking of not having tentacles, there goes one more. Don't worry, I'm just helping you file for disability is all. <laughs> Like, come on, you're still breathing. You don't need that limb. Whoop. Whoop. Ah. Surprise, we're back. Like, how did you get back? I thought I knocked you off. You did. But by the power of game logic, I return. Yeah, this, that actually reminds me of... Uh, so, I grew up playing Super Mario 64. But when I was first playing it, I couldn't read. So, when I <laughs> fought the first uh, boss in that bub -omb battlefield, the King bub -omb or whatever it was, I kept trying to throw him off the edge because I thought that's what you had to do. And he says, you know, no, that's not how you do it. You're supposed to just throw him onto the ground at the top of that battlefield, whatever. <laughs> so, yeah, that took me a while. I thought he, he just must have had like a ton of health or something because I just kept throwing him off the edge and he kept jumping back. <laughs> no. It's like, you try to make your game idiot-proof, but... It's not quite kid-proof. <laughs> yes. There we go. Alright. Now, to take care of this bit. Well, look, it's taking care of itself. How, <laughs> how thoughtful. I didn't realize that Metroid Hatcher was linked to those somehow, but okay. That, that works. I'm fine with it. <laughs> don't you wish, don't you wish real life worked like that? You you defeat an enemy and it 
everything that they messed up cleans itself. Yeah, like you just solve the source of the problem and everything that's already accomplished is just gone. Oops. All right, so apparently nothing complicated here. You won't be needing this. Since, you know, Jenner's probably not working anyway. Did it say anywhere how many total energy cells there were? Total? I... It probably says it somewhere. I mean, I could guess that... I could guess that it might be 12, but I'm not sure. If it is 12, we're halfway there because we put one in and we have five now. Right. Does that open this up? No. All right. Back through the tunnels. So I believe that is Norian completed. All right, then. So we can... Whoops, not that one. Check that one off. And that's everything. So on to Brio. Indeed. Farewell, Norian. I'm not sure if I, I'll miss you or not, but uh, we're definitely leaving. <laughs> Brio. All right. I guess I'll just go to the first one. All right. So I actually realized something about this game. Oh? Because we're at a point where I don't think we're going to be getting any more upgrades, like actual upgrades, not not talking about expansions. I realized, I never realized this before, but I realized this game doesn't have power bombs. Huh. I can't believe I never realized that. Now that you mention it, that is a very odd thing. <laughs> it's like power bombs is such a staple of these games usually. Is there even a super missile, actually? Uh, no. I guess you could say there's not that either. Because you get the ice missile, but that's about it. Yeah. So no super missile, and no s power bomb. And no beam combos in general. Yeah. Also, another thing that kind of disappointed me about this game is that <clears throat> in the two previous, there's always three additional beams after the power beam. And each one extend extends the power the arm cannon in a different on a different axis. Wow, I needed to say <laughs> I needed to repeat myself so many times because I was going in the wrong direction. The arm cannon always extends in a on a <laughs> I did it again. The arm cannon always extends on a different axis for each new beam. Right. So like for this one, the plasma beam it extended vertically. For the nova beam it extends horizontally. And then like in the previous game, the Annihilator extended forward and backwards. Right. And then, and then in the first Metroid Prime, the Hyper Beam extended every direction simultaneously. And that, Wait, that's, the Hyper Beam in Metroid Prime? Yeah, when you stood in the, puzzled, uh, the puddle during the final boss phase. Oh, that's right. So in this, it also kind of extends in every direction, but also kind of is more fancy when you do the Hyper Beam. But there's no beam that extends forward. Yeah that's not a hyper beam or whatever so i did also find that a little bit disappointing i do love the nova beam how it looks it's so cool and it's my favorite color but i wanted more it, it does seem like that seems like such a oddly specific thing but it does kind of suck well when you're as obsessed with the cool design of the arm cannon as much as i am that that makes yeah. a big difference but it's okay so, technically, since we have the plasma beam functionality, we could break you guys free. <laughs> Can we melt the entire bridge? No, I guess not. Hmm. It's 
Speaking of cool designs, I actually looked up to see if there were like um, fan-made like power armor suits for like Metroid. It's really hard to find any, <laughs> which kind of sucks because like there's so many designs already that like just from the Prime series. And you could go wild with like thinking up all sorts of cool designs that with potential new potential new features. I think there was concept art for a dark and light combination suit, but I mean there was no place to fit it in that it would have some sort of useful functionality in Echoes. Mm. Uh, so that being said, we're going to be right back because I need to use the restroom. Mm. Beer beat. <laughs> All right, we're back. Sorry about that. Anyways. So. Back to where we were. Actually, I don't... Mm, well. I think I know what we were talking about, but I don't really have anything to add. Hmm. There's a few things missing in this game that I was expecting. A little bit of a disappointment, but overall, it's still pretty cool. Yeah. Uh, so it looks like there's something above us. Hmm. And I think I know how to get there. I believe we have to go up here. And we have to go through this thing. Ah. All right. And so. release you, I think. Yes. Stop clogging our pathway. All right. And what do you have for us? Missile expansion. Yay. All right, so we can check that off and go to the next room that has an expansion for us. Hmm. All right. And I see you already marked them all. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I did that between, uh, well, right before we started this session, I guess. Because mm. I figure you don't need me to go do going through everything and marking them in the episode. Fair enough. I guess getting the Elysian data on all these places is kind of equivalent to when we got the x-ray scope in Super Metroid. It kind of helps you get expansions that you didn't find. That is true. In different ways. Yeah. Also, I just kind of realized I'm not going to be... I'm going to be doing a lot less talking now because there are all pre-explored areas now. <laughs> well, almost all. Ooh, it is a fancy chamber. Oh, you're something new. Morphology. Gamer? Yeah, Gamer. We've seen them in Metroid Prime. I thought those were Zoomers. There were Zoomers and Gamers. Huh. Gamers were the ones that required missiles. Ah. Non aggressive bioform. Avoid contact with a spiked shell. Yeah, in Metroid Prime, Zoomers just had spikes. And then Gamers specifically had retractable spikes that they poked out whenever you got close. Hmm. So, it looks like there's just the missile expansion, but then why is there this extra part of the room? This looks like a, a temple of some kind. Yeah, like a shrine or something? Not sure why. Were they worshipping the missile expansion? Like, it looks like there should be a Chozo statue or something right there. Or I guess in this case kind it would of. be a Reptilicus statue or something. Yeah. Alright, so let's check that one off. And move on. Okay. And if we have nothing interesting to say, then we'll we'll probably just skip right to that. B3 corpses. Kind of surprising that they didn't melt naturally since we've been away from the planets for so long. Or that they didn't just, you know, naturally break 
when uh, we killed Rundus. Or that, too. Yeah, actually, because... Huh. Yeah, why didn't they? I mean, I was just saying that as in going by some of the logic we've seen, like when we killed that uh, uh, Metroid Hatcher. Yeah, but I'm pretty sure it brought us also, like, all his ice things melted in the area we were fighting him in when he died. Game logic. Doesn't always make sense. <laughs> It's like a tagline tagline thing. It's like game logic. It doesn't always make sense. Yeah. All right. Sounds so. like something you'd put on a older meme caption. <laughs> I guess so. All right. Before we didn't have the screw attack, so now we can get that. Yay. Ooh, seventy-five percent of pickups. All pickups acquired. Yeah. Special ending unlocked. Mm hmm. Mm. Complete the game to view this ending. All right, so that one. And then one in this room. Hmm. Did I just completely miss this one? Hmm. I don't th think so. Oh. A large battery appears to have been removed from it. I think I might know what I have to do for this. I might need to find something that I can put back in. Ah. Uh. And I imagine it might be in here. Hmm. Where the pirates were setting up anti-air defenses. Yeah. All right, so I'm going to check there and then there. Okay. So apparently... I never checked the bottom of this room. Hmm. For some reason, I just... I think I just assumed it was like a bottomless pit or something. Huh. Broken Golem Statue Fragments. Structural Integrity Compromised. Taloric Alloy Detected Within Stonework. Oh. Energy Tank? That's very useful. But... We, wait, could, we did, could have had that a long time ago. <laughs> yeah. Oh wait, so did they just put Energy Tank in all of the Golem's arms then? Who knows, it could be part of their powering mechanism. All right, let's break some columns. <laughs> I don't know where the final boss is, but we're going to show up to it with, like, 300 energy tanks. It's like, why are all these statues vandalized? Or these golems vandalized? Specifically their arms. <laughs> I guess we'll never know. But wait, do their legs also contain energy tanks? Oh, uh, maybe. <laughs> we may need to uh, perform quadruple amputations on all these golems. <laughs> uh. It's like it's for the greater good. Yes. I'm saving the galaxy here. Now I'm kind of thinking about other unexplained limitations, like uh, in the Pokemon games, you can only have up to six Pokemon in your party. <laughs> but theoretically... Get a, a Pokeball bandolier? Yeah, exactly. I was going to say, like, <laughs> why not just wear, like, a whole bandolier? You can have, like, you know, you kill, your opponent defeats your sixth Pokemon. They're like, ha. Huh. Now give me your money, kid. I'm like, oh yeah. Throws out like 50 level 10 Pokemon. <laughs> it's like, I will wear you out eventually. 
That's another thing, and the way it's like usually one-on-one -on -one battles, or I guess in some of the newer ones, there's like two-on-two. -two. It's like, why would uh, Team Rocket or whoever the new bad guys are, why would they not just send everything against one? Yeah. Hey, Miss Looks mentioned. I probably could have reached this before, too. Hmm. But I didn't know it was here. So, pretty sure I can pick this thing up. Ah. Doesn't look much like a Galactic Federation battery, but... I don't think it is. Hmm. And I don't think that's what we're going to be using it for. Oh. But the first time we were here, we did not have the ship grapple. Like, yeah, it's all crusty on the bottom. Yeah. It's crusty and it's probably also explosive because it's fuel gel. <laughs> Explosive crust. Although, I think the hazard shield protects us from this now. Oh, yeah. yeah we're still a bit sluggish, but, uh, oh well. Hop, hop, hop. Mm -hmm. There we go. Another missile expansion. Another one. That yeah, works. Yeah, that's much faster. <laughs> Alright, so scratch that off the list. I almost thought that was lore for a sec. Mm -hmm. Probably was, but you got it. I'm not sure. Alright, and uh, where was I going? Uh, you didn't mention after this. I'm going this way, so... Do I want to go that way or that way? I guess this way would be faster. Mm, probably. Come on, open up. Thank you. Oops, I didn't mean to do that. Oh. It's being a slow loader today. Look, it's had a rough day at work, okay? The water cooler wasn't stocked. <laughs> then I had to deal with freaking Brian. Everyone hates Brian. Technically, they could have put a secret in there. Yeah, they could have. But then you probably could have gotten it before you got the hazard shield. I don't know. It might not have let you sink. Hmm. Because I know that's what it did with the uh, the venomous water in Echoes before you got the light suit. Huh. You just wouldn't sink. So I actually it, didn't know that. It treated it like shallow water, I think. Hmm. That's cool. Oh, you're something different? What are you? Oh, there's you too. Morphology. Fargal Wasp. Pre protective of parent bioform. Capable of self-detonation. Well, geez, no need to be that uh, dramatic. Morphology. Fargal Hatcher. Able to jam incoming missiles. Mouth is vulnerable to attack. No, bug off, bugs. Yeah. Oops. Which part's your mouth? Okay, that is. It's on fire! Okay, could you actually just die? Jeez. How come we haven't seen more of you around if you're so hard to kill? Jeez. Come on, open up. Thank you. You need to see a dentist. There we go. Now we'll just vaporize his halitosis along with him. 
the price he paid. Yeah, golem is used. Okay. And now we can open this. Golem in standby mode. Energy courses through the statue. Engage bomb slot to use. Will do. It's like I thought you left me behind. I saw you activate my brothers and I was I was getting lonely. I was just imagining if someone somehow had the scanner technology, but not you know, the power suit. So they're like bomb slot. I what do I just slap some C4 in there and it operates? <laughs> Just toss it in like a in a Call of Duty game. It's like, <laughs> okay, he's the same. Generator power has been restored and is now powering nearby magnetic rail system. Pretty complex rail system. I don't know if it needed to be this complex. Like right here, what's with these brakes? Yeah, I feel like there could have been a much more direct route. Probably. To wherever this is going. I'm sure that's probably the case in many other instances that I just didn't think about. Yeah, most likely. It's for the sake of puzzles and being fancy. Yeah. You don't think about it when you're alone, probably, but... We are looking for things to talk about with a friend... Yeah, sometimes things pop up where you're like, wait. Why is that even... Why does that even exist like that? It just don't make gosh darn sense. Especially if you're doing all this for the sake of a missile expansion. <laughs> why are they in such awkward places? They're so common. They're, I swear, you probably could buy them out of Walmart at this point. All right, so. Oh. I believe that was missing a head, was it not? Oh. It said no valid target drop. It's like, it looks like a valid target to me. We'll make it valid. We'll make it fit. Shove it in there. Get some super glue. Okay. Not sure why you did that, but I appreciate it. <laughs> Colossal War Golem has expelled remaining energy reserves. Unit is permanently offline. I guess that was its last hurrah then. I guess so. And a ship missile expansion. Hmm. All right. So I think that's probably a good enough place to end this episode. All right, then. So we'll see you next time. Goodbye for now. Goodbye. <laughs>